Picture yourself on the open sea in an opulent cabin. There are endless drinks and endless food cooked fresh by master chefs. There are dance floors, hot tubs, and crystal clear pools, all while you're being whisked off to a beautiful beach or European city. A bit luxurious, wouldn't you say? Cruises are an escape favored by many, but some don't quite live up to the expectations I just listed. Some cruises come with tight cabin spaces, mediocre food, and rather basic destinations. However, today we're not going to be talking about those cruises. We're going to take a look at the most expensive and luxurious cruise on Earth. A cruise voyage so expensive, with so many insane features, that it might just be worth the $1.2 million price tag. To begin, let's take a look at the ship itself. There are 375 suites on the ship, and each one is as luxurious as they come. Even the smallest suite comes with king beds separate soaking tubs, luxurious rainfall showers, and walk-in closets. But we're not interested in the smallest suite. For the $1.2 million cruise experience, you and your partner will be staying in one of the finest suites on the ship. And my, are they fine. The largest room on the ship, the Regan Suite, is a sprawling 4,443 square feet. The two-bedroom room has a master suite that is fit with the Savior number one bed, a bed that costs $150,000, with the mattress alone clocking in at $90,000. Naturally, the room has a marble balcony with a heated spa on it, where you can sit with your partner and watch the waves roll by. The room comes with a baby grand piano and some original Picasso paintings, which certainly add a few luxury points onto this suite. There's also an in-suite spa with both steam room and sauna, so you can pick between dry or wet heat. There's also a state-of-the-art jacuzzi and private massage table so you can have the ship's massage therapist come directly to you. Speaking of massage therapists, there are unlimited spa treatments available while you're on board, whether you'd like them in your room or at the spa on the ship. The ship is also fitted with several other ways to entertain and relax, including a luxury two-story theater, a dance floor, several pools and hot tubs, a casino, a library, shuffleboard, and a golf simulator. Then, of course, there's the food. This isn't your buffet-style cruise, oh no. Oh, this is five-star dining. There's the main dining hall called The Compass Room and a reservation-only restaurant called Pacific Rim. Each room comes with dozens of options, from Korean barbecue to lobster to caviar to Kobe beef. Did I mention this is all served on custom Versace plates? Aside from the accommodations, the ship is also just stunning. There are 158 chandeliers on board, and every single deck is fitted with marble grand staircases and large open windows. But the ship alone isn't the reason behind the $1.2 million price tag. That cost is for the most luxurious voyage this ship will ever take. The $1.2 million voyage on Seven Seas Explorer will sail in 2021 and will be a 123-day journey to 11 different countries. Every moment of those 123 days is planned down to the flights and hotel stays. Included in the cost is a first-class flight from London to Dubai, which includes a luxury meal. Upon landing in Dubai, you'll be whisked away by helicopter to your hotel, the Burj Al Arab, the most expensive hotel in Dubai. Your two-bedroom suite would normally cost $4,000 per night, but of course, it's included in the cruise package. The rest of your Dubai trip is divided into a day of leisure and a curated day which includes a private desert safari with a gourmet meal. From there, you'll jet off to Hong Kong in your own private jet, where you'll stay then at the Ritz Carlton. Your next two days in Hong Kong will include a tour of a beautiful island and a sacred monastery. Then, and only then, you'll finally begin the cruise portion of your trip. You'll take a limo to the Seven Seas Explorer, where your real journey begins. You'll sail through Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Singapore, Indonesia, Australia, and you'll even make a stop at the Great Barrier Reef. For Christmas and New Year's, you'll have a luxury stay in the Park Hyatt Hotel, overlooking the Sydney Opera House. This stay includes a rooftop suite with a king bed 
and a private terrace to view the holiday fireworks from. From there, you'll sail onto New Zealand, where you can experience Hobbiton from Lord of the Rings and see the rugged beauty of the country from the comfort of your own suite. The cruise then travels back up through Thailand, Vietnam, and China over a 30-day period. Keep in mind that on the ship during those 30 days, you're seeing beautiful countries in open sea, all while having a personal butler on standby, endless food, and 24-hour room service. The ship will then take you to Japan, stopping in Osaka and Kochi, before there is a five-day stay at the Oman Tokyo Hotel, with a room that includes its own wine cellar, king-size bed, and traditional Japanese soaking tub. The five days on land include a private helicopter tour of the gorgeous Mount Fuji. After that, guests will fly first class back to London, where the journey began. A luxurious 123-day trip on the most luxurious ship in the world <laughs> doesn't sound too terrible to me. What do you think? Would you want to go on this expensive, wonderful trip around the world, or would you rather spend your million dollars elsewhere? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury, pip pip to doodly doo.